I'm Chris Cook from 3M. Today I'd like to spend a little bit of time going through the Knifeless Tape product range uh, and just give you a little bit of information about the range and the differences between some of the products. It's quite common that I get questions from people about uh, what are the differences between the different Knifeless Tape products. There are eight different tapes in the range and it can be a little bit difficult to kind of understand what type of work each one is designed for and the differences between them. Now look, to help with that, one thing I have done is put together this just one page product selection guide. This gives you the, uh, the key attributes and features of the eight different tapes in the range and really some sort of the key usage uh, characteristics. Now what, what are they like when you're using them? Now you can download this, there's a, a link below the video where you can actually download this file and, uh, and print it out. So this is a really great place to start to help you understand the difference between each of those eight, uh, eight products. But probably the most common question is what's the difference between the finish line and design line knifeless tapes? Uh, because they do have quite similar uses, but there are some quite specific differences between the two that makes them more suitable for particular types of application. So I'd just like to spend a couple of minutes just focusing on those two products because that is probably the most common uh, question that I do get. Now, I'll start off with the, with the finish line tape. Uh, now, the finish line, this was the original knifeless tape. This is the, the first product that was uh, developed. And I suppose I would, I'd kind of call this the, the, the general purpose knifeless tape. If you're only going to have one knifeless tape in your toolkit, this is probably the one that, that I would choose. It's probably got the widest range of applications. Uh, you know, use it for the, for, the, for the biggest range of things. Uh, now, one thing I will point out, it's, it is easier now to tell the difference between the products because the product name is actually printed on the inside of the roll. So uh, the quickest way to look is just uh, inside, the, inside the core there. But the finish line tape, a couple of key attributes. Firstly, it's got, um, it's got a very strong filament in it. Um, in fact, so strong you, you can't really actually break it by hand. You're going to need to cut it with scissors or a knife. Uh, in fact, if you try to snap it by hand, uh, you're probably going to end up uh, cutting into your finger, so don't do that. Uh, also, the, the filament really has no stretch in it. So you do need to be careful when you're working with it that you don't put too much tension on it as you're laying it, otherwise you can pull the filament out from underneath the tape and then obviously that's, uh, that's not going to work. So uh, this one really is best for fairly sort of gentle curves. You don't want to try and bend it around very, very tight curves, uh, otherwise you're going to pull the filament out from underneath the tape. But because that filament is so strong, it means that it's going to be able to cut through multiple layers of vinyl. So if you're working with printed graphics that have a, a laminating film on them, this is going to cut through both layers of film. Uh, so, and also quite forgiving when you're using it, that filament is so strong that you don't really have to be too worried about the filament snapping when you're pulling it up through the vinyl. Design line, on the other hand, um, while it does look very similar, uh, again, to tell the difference, look inside the, uh, inside the roll, but you'll also notice that the filament in the design line actually has a bit of a pinkish tinge to it, whereas the finish line is, uh, is kind of a, is, uh, is a yellow. Now, the design line, you'll notice the filament is quite a bit thinner, and it's also actually, you can snap it by hand. So you don't necessarily need to use a, a knife or scissors by, for this one. And it also has a little bit of stretch to it. Now that tiny little bit of stretch actually does allow it to go around much tighter curves. So if you're doing some very fine sort of detail work or need to create tight curves, the design line uh, is, is uh, actually a, a better option. Um, because that filament is so much finer, it will also create uh, a, a sharper cut. Uh, compared to the, to the finish line. So you'll get a much neater, uh, neater edge. But one thing you do need to be careful of is because the filament can be snapped, you do need to be a little bit gentle when you're pulling it so that you don't snap it halfway through the cut. Also, the design line is really intended for single layer films only. Uh, so for colour change wrap films like the, the 1080 wrap film, uh, you best not to use the design line 
for printed and laminated graphics because uh, you may find that if you try to pull it through multiple layers of vinyl, uh, you might actually end up snapping the, the filament. Uh, but it does produce the sharpest cut, uh, so it will give you the, the best possible edge quality and does allow you also to do those very tight, very tight curves. So look, that's just a very quick overview of the two key products, the design line and the finish line. Uh, there are six other products in the knifeless tape range. So I would suggest download the product selection guide and that will help you understand the rest of the range uh, and how you can use them to best advantage on your vehicle wraps. Anyway, thank you very much for, for watching uh, and any comments uh, or suggestions, please leave them below. Thank you very much.